Hi, this is Lee Jones, Art and Life, and I'm going to be coming from my office today instead of being in this room. So the, the pour I'll be doing in a few minutes will be coming from the office. It's a bigger area, and I'm pouring a 24-inch uh, round piece of wood today. I didn't cut this piece of wood myself. Some of the wood that I get, um, I uh, actually get at a um, hardware department store and it's already cut in the circle. Like the octagon behind me, up above my head, that one I cut and made. Um, and most of the circles and pieces of um, wood I cut and sand myself and get them ready. Um, and I have recently started uh, exposing some of them. And I'd really like you to let me know in the comment section if you like this technique. Um, I will commission um, any piece that you'd like me to do for you. Um, whether it has wood or canvas, I have lots of different sized canvases and um, uh, different types of techniques that can be used. And um, if you want something cut out of wood, I can cut it out of wood too. I just wanted to let you know um, to put in the comment section um, what it is that you're interested in and also to let me know about the length of the videos. I've been uh, really extreme lately with a, a, few, a couple that have been just a minute long, pretty much the results, um, and then others that have been um, more like closer to a half an hour and anything in between. So uh, if you can let me know, that would really help me a lot. So I'm asking you uh, to tell me what you would like. And um, I'm also uh, going to apologize about the noise that's going to be in this video coming up. At home, the oxygen that I wear is continuous, so you can't really hear it. And um, the chair is a manual chair. The power chair can't really get in here. At my office though, the power chair clicks every time I start and stop the um, chair. Yeah, that clicking can get loud. And so I try to edit it out. The other thing is every time I take a breath, it makes a puff. Um, another thing, the compressor that has the oxygen makes more noise. The, the compressor I'm using here um, at the home is in another room, so you can't hear it. Um, I'm letting you know this because I'm asking you for your opinion. Do you want them edited out and it kind of chops up the editing and it's not so smooth? Or would you prefer to have me um, just leave them in? So, um, oh, and just, I don't think I've ever shared. Uh, I am uh, using oxygen because I have restrictive lung disease and I have multiple sclerosis. Um, uh, I use a wheelchair. Um, I have been using a wheelchair for 33 years. I just did a new ramp in the front of the house. My old one was, I think, um, I couldn't figure out, it's 27 years old. Um, the first one I made, and then we had someone else make the second one, and that second one is what we just replaced, and I did a pour on top of it. I can't wait to make my video for that um, and get it. So I've already made the video. I have to edit it and get it out for you to be able to see um, because I do use a chair um, all the time. What I have is not contagious though. Other people can't catch MS from me, multiple sclerosis. And um, I am just sharing this because people might be curious and um, also because of the noise that the chair and the oxygen is making in the video. I've done um, two or three now at my office and I've noticed that the sounds are um, distracting me. So I'm interested in knowing if they're distracting you or not. Um, so if you could comment, that would be great. Actually, if you, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. It helps my YouTube channel um, for growing purposes. And I'm also interested in knowing about you. You get to know stuff about me as I'm pouring and you know talking and stuff. I wanna know about you as well and what you enjoy being able to view um, as I create things. Um, and so I'm gonna let you 
go to watching me pour now and I'm gonna stop talking. And um, uh, please, if you like what you're watching, give me a thumbs up, uh, share the video with other people, whatever you would like to do. Um, I appreciate the input as well and a comment. Okay, here we go. Hi, this is my 24 inch round uh, piece of wood that I just love. I have um, sanded and sanded it and then I put some varnish on it and it's the natural color. It sat outside in the sun for just over a year getting rained on and weathered uh, and not here. This is a beautiful piece of wood right here. I'm pouring on it today and I'm gonna leave part of this exposed so that the beauty of the wood, uh, it can enhance part of the composition. And so today I am gonna be pouring eight little cups and uh, they'll each have the same thing in each one. So what I've got here are little five ounce cups. So I figured if um, I filled them halfway, I would have enough and I'll be pouring it on this. This was a bowl turned upside down and cut. And then I used it for a different pour. And instead of washing it, I decided I would see if the paint uh, flowed a little bit slower having the paint already on it, like giving it some resistance to pour down. And I, um, I have cut pieces so that the paint can go inside the circle. Um, so what I'm gonna do is first fill all these little cups um, with the same paint. Maybe I'll move them over just a little bit. In case the paint gets on the wood, it's okay. It's not on the part that I want to keep nice and clean, which is over here. Okay, so what I'm going to start with, um, just a little bit of white. Last thing to come out is the first thing that goes in. And then I'm going to put some of the copper in. Now, I have some gold spray that I'm going to see what happens when I spray it.
center so that this part can stay clean. I've tried it where I put um, tape on the part that I didn't want paint to go on. Today I'm just going to leave it. Uh, so um, you can see how these are layered. I'm going to take them off and um, I'm going to try to layer them alternating. Let's see how far this one goes out by pointing it first with the, with the ground. Skipping this one and moving it to this one. Nice ripples. Even though each cup was poured pretty much the same, and it's coming out the same, they look different. It's that's what's so fascinating about this um, paint pouring. To me, it's just, it's utterly unpredictable. Okay, so this one is the last one of the, the four. We're just pretty much allowing the paint to come out with that brown part first.
It really needs to be torched though, and I don't know what will happen with that gold in it. Um, situation. The last big painting I didn't have my torch so I popped it underneath. It's okay. It's, I can tell that the bubbles are popping. There are quite a few bubbles. Oh, I love it. I just really am so excited about this piece. And um, I'm going to put some copper around it. And it's by um, Art Mines. And so uh, this copper is not quite as um, shiny as a penny copper. Um, as like in Deco Art Americana decors, um, copper metallic copper is uh, a lot like brighter. Um, when this dries though, it, it'll be brighter than it is right now. It's very like a rose pink right now. Oh, this is just gorgeous. I just love the, the cell action happening here. Um, it is spectacular. Ah.
remain hot. Oh, I just, I really love the colors. Um, I, I really enjoy the beige and the browns, blues. It just, it's just incredible how these are just, uh, it's just beautiful. And then when you have that gold in there that I used as a spray, it just really pops. Um, I was wondering if I should pull through it with a skewer and uh, take some of those soft lines. Minaval is the latest, um, likes to pull so there isn't um, that soft uh, finger ending like over here. Um, and so she's made me be very mindful of that. I should do the same thing. Pull some of these. This is this this just is so gorgeous. These spots that first pour is really just amazing. Um, and there's just that little bit of gold. I'll have to bring you in for a close up. This I really love having this be right right where it's at, um, showing off this beautiful grain. So here you can see that gold. Okay, I'm I'm gonna bring it in closer. So I okay, here we have this beautiful piece of 24 inch round, and we had eight um, five ounce cups that were about half full. You can see them sitting there, and they're gonna be added to my twinkle lights outside. Perfect. 